Hey, welcome back everybody, I am the Gerbil, and today's video is a toss back to my my channel's heritage and what got me interested in Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. So, I, um, I did it. Look at that, look at that, look at that, see that, see that, all of these guys? Look at that, look at that. They're all Relic 9. I beat the game. I beat it. Actually, no, of course, there, you cannot beat Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, but... The thing about this game is it's kind of insidiously created to to encourage you to always chase the shiny, chase the meta, get the, the biggest, baddest, most awesomest new character. And there's eternal power creep by, uh, by virtue of the way the game is created. It has to, right? The new characters have to be appealing and enticing because that's the revenue stream for the makers of the game. And that's not a bad thing. But it does create awkward, you know, moments when, you know, five random Tuscans are beating, uh, you know, a, a squad of Sith Lords, for example, or something, right? It's, it's weird, but that's just the way the nature of this game works. But, you see, I, I really love playing for fun and not chasing the meta. And so I've said for years on my channel, chase the fun, not the meta. And this is my manifestation of that. My favorite squad is all R9. And so in this video, I just want to share um, some fun moments recently of chasing the fun, not the meta. And so I'm going to show a video of my Ewoks killing Relic 9 Lord Vader. Uh, and then I'm going to show you some just some thoughts about what else that they handle pretty well. And then I'm going to show some Jawa action. Uh, because if you have Jawas from maybe the Crate Raid or you just love the Jawas and you happen to have the Scavenger datacron oh my my is it fun so let's check it out so first up my most recent r9s lagre and ewok elder if you are just curious what their animations look like or their sticks as they glow <laughs> there you go <laughs> so i put i put a picture of my squad on on reddit and it got like 700 something upvotes, which I was really happy about. And two people said, what a waste. Folks, this is a video game. There is no such thing as a waste in a video game if it provides you happiness, joy, or entertainment, right? If you get lulls out of it and it makes you feel good, it is not a waste. There, It doesn't matter. You can Relic 9 your Jedi Knight Guardian and Consular, and if it makes you happy, it's not a waste. Right? Is it gonna advance you in the game? No, uh, it's it's not. You, you're not gonna you're not gonna do anything in GAC with that. Um, but yeah, let's move on, shall we? Oh my goodness, I've lost my Lord Vader. Uh, we're gonna have to do some editing. It looks like. Hmm. One moment. Okay, so let's. All right, so let, let's move on, shall we? Um, so, what 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 do these what do these <laughs> murder bears beat? In GAC, if you got the Chirpa Omicron, they beat a lot more than people realize, and they are my number one holding defensive team. So I I, I put them on defense. The Nisacron made them way more potent, but uh, even without that, they're still capable of doing some remarkably good things. So I just went and scraped some data off of SWGOH.GG, and I and I see that almost everybody is running Poplo in there, and I think that I mean that's fine, but I think that that's a, a fundamental mistake. Poplo's purpose is no longer necessary under Nisa's um, kit. Nisa provides a lot more survivability to the team through health uh, increases. I think, I think I don't remember, some protection increases, health recovery. Um, she has a mass cleanse, whereas Poplu has a targeted cleanse. Uh, she has a devastating AoE, which combined with wickets means you don't have to get around tanks. A lot of times you can just kill off the entire enemy squad by just making sure you turn meter train as much as possible and get those AoE spams going. While, while Poplo has the speed boost between Lagre's health up, Nisa's survivability, Chirpa's heal, Wicked's AoE heal, um, 
everybody heals elders heal elders revives you you really don't need a tank in the squad anymore and the second thing that Poplu provided was a cleanse on basic that was mostly to get past tanks again you don't need that as much logre uh, will do the same thing with his hypnotic visions or whatever it is it will it will cleanse the enemy and daze the entire enemy squad which is critical against turn metered teams like geonosians or um you know a bunch of different squads so uh, i i get the merit of poplu but it really is kind of an older pre-nisa thought and i think that if you if you mod your squad correctly and you decide to bite the bullet and take out Poplu and run the five I'm suggesting here, I think you'll find a lot more effectiveness out of them. So at the bottom of the screen, at the very, very bottom over here in this corner, I've got a bunch of GAC opponents that I consistently beat when I do put them on offense. Uh, that's Bug, Sana, Revan Jedi, Mon Mothma, Maul, yeah, Maul, uh, Mandalorian Mauls, um, General Grievous, non star killer palpatine anything vader and almost any iteration of bounty hunters I, I i pretty much like when i see bounty hunters or night sisters i'm like straight at it with ewoks i i don't know why especially night sisters i get every ewok will basically essentially remove plague because anytime you heal plague goes away so night sisters become fundamentally easy especially with the aoe's again you just you, zombie isn't a problem uh marin didn't change that factor they're still in my humble opinion and my knowledge may vary easy to beat now over directly beneath me here i've got um some uh territory wars with the nisa omicron i consistently beat general grievous with poggle omicron um oh look at that i flipped i flipped the graphics uh, maybe i'll fix that maybe not um geonosians with poggle omicron uh general grievous with droidica omicron phasma pfft, easy um and then terms and conditions apply <laughs> but you can drop lord vader you can drop jedi uh, general general jedi jedi master luke um and you can do a lot of damage in some other squads of course so but here we go here here is uh this is a cleanup so i know it's not ideal but beggars can't be choosers and i didn't have a lot of options but this is sans nisa uh, Datacron, and we are up against a Relic 9 Lord Vader here. Um, there was preloaded turn meter, and you see that we just walked through Piet, and we're going to take down Lord, uh, Darth Vader in one, two, it's I say taking some hits, man, he's beefy, three, three turns, Piet was a whole lot easier, and Piet has more life, four, um and here we go so now w lord vader is actually not that hard to beat with ewoks uh with the nisa omicron in territory wars because see every time an ewok is dazed or stunned they gain 100 percent protection up which is based on health which is why you want to mod your ewoks for health and not protection so see right there what what vader did just gave us all a lot of sustainability and then and i don't remember the exact wording but nisa is basically going to spam her special abilities i think it's every time she uses a basic and she assists and attacks out of turn relentlessly um it, it reduces the cooldowns so that when it's her turn her her specials are already ready to go so what happens is vader throws out a mass daze which gives you 100 percent protection up nisa takes a turn and mass cleanses so the 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 cleanse takes off all the dazes leaving you with all that protection up so the way you win is just by running over Darth, uh, lord vader and keeping ewok elder under stealth with uh wicket every opportunity you can you need to keep ewok elder under stealth so you can see there um oh we got an ability block that was annoying ability block does suck um but yeah so we got again we got the protection up now we got the assist so as soon as uh nisa takes a turn and and why did i just contradict myself because ewok elder had buff immunity if i called him with with wicked he wasn't gonna go into stealth so yeah better two options get extra assist from nisa so here we go we got basic now we're gonna do an aoe 
And see, Lord Vader is slowly but surely dying. Keep the speed down, get the days on him. Just go pew pew pew, we're running out of turn meter train, we're gonna go ahead and cleanse the team because as soon as we assist right here and cooldowns just got dropped, assist again, cooldowns got dropped, so Nisa's next turn, she's gonna cleanse the team again if necessary. Here we go, screenshot, and I think the kill. Three, two, one, no, no, here we go. Come on, come on, take it, die. Murder bear madness, it's just great. Hey, let's move on to some other fun chase the fun right not the meta so here we're gonna go oh look that's the wrong video where's my droidica video ah uh, i guess i mislabeled something uh oh no no this is the wrong video we just watched this one oh well uh, i guess we'll hit that one some other day so here we go uh jawas versus gl leia um the, the jawas destroy droidica omicron geos uh if you have the scavenger Datacron. And, and here's why. Like when we read this, um, the, it, the, the scavenger Datacron basically, it, it creates the same mechanic that Bosch Leia's Datacron has for Jabba the Hutt. Whenever a thermal detonator goes boom, your Jawas recover health, they recover protection, and they gain turn meter. So you're going to outrun the, the droid uh, General Grievous team just like madness it's crazy and then the level 9 on scavenger revives him if he dies so you don't really have to worry about staying alive now I've been using them to to help clean up uh, GL Leia I like many people still struggle against GL Leia uh, and so what I do is I this is 3v3 uh, see Leia throws out her AoE R2 throws out his AoE and look at that, 26 thermal detonators on R2, but he's got the damage immunity, right? So all we gotta do is not die. And with the, the thermal detonators going boom, we're gonna heal up uh, a lot. So we can see here that Jawa Engineer is uh, just lost a bunch of health, but all the protection is back. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go boom, uh, foresight, dodge that. Uh, but we got we got 40, 37 thermal detonators over there on R2. Now, because of Leia's kit, R2 has an incredible amount of health. So when these thermal detonators do finally go boom any second now, watch this. Here we go. R2 is just going to bite the dust, <laughs> right? And now we're totally into cleanup territory with a solo Leia. All right, here we are in a 5v5. Same, same idea. And again, folks, I'm chasing the fun in this video, not the meta. I, I'm not advocating you go relic up your Jawas just so you can kill R2-D2. Um, this is just fun. I'm just trying to have fun. So th this one is in Territory Wars. I do not have the, the Chief Nebit TW Omicron, although I'm thinking a lot about adding it because this is just too much fun. Um, so this one, uh, it's a 5v5 situation. I actually, I actually was hopeful that I could kill everybody in here except for Leia. I know that GLs take reduced damage from, from health-based effects and thermal detonators are health-based. So I know that there's no way we can kill Leia. But just check out the survivability. Oh, look at that. And R2's already gone. R2's already gone. I wasn't paying attention. So yeah, that's it. Um, R2... And Drogon is what makes Leia so good. If you take out R2, the Leia team becomes a lot easier to kill because R2's assisting is healing the team and R2 is sharing his stats and gets insane stat boosts first from Leia and then shares those stats with the team. So now you go into cleanup zone and, and this is just a lot easier. I mean, a lot easier to knock out. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed just some moments of lols here uh i'll try to find that that uh jawa versus droidica omicron battle and maybe share it in a future vid but it's fun all right thanks for watching peace hit that like button please i do appreciate it and i'll see you later Bye bye